All right. Well, high level members of the Obama administration who allegedly requested the unmasking of General Michael Flynn's name in classified intelligence reports now identified in a list declassified by acting DNI Rick Grinnell. Georgia Congressman Doug Collins is a Republican on the Judiciary Committee. He's here to react to that this morning. Congressman, good morning. Your thoughts. Hey, good morning. It's about time. It is, it is amazing for those of us who have been talking about this for over a year. I mean, I've released transcripts. We've had Debbie Nunez. We've been talking about this for so many years. And, and really, nobody wanted to believe that at the highest level of the Obama administration, Obama, Biden, you know, Joe Biden can hide in the basement. He can't hide from his facts here that he uh, was in these meetings. And now moving it forward, we're now starting to see that it's all unraveling with the General Flynn case, with the Mueller investigation. It was all just an attack on President Trump and, at the time, candidate Trump. So I'm glad to see this is coming out. And it's time people start being held accountable because the way it was going about is you had Comey, McCabe, Strzok, uh, Page, and all these acting as a roving band of, of uh, you know, deputized street thugs going after uh, a candidate for president. Katie McFarland, uh, Michael Flynn's former deputy, joined us at the top of the nine o'clock hour this morning, and she makes the case that she believes that she and Michael Flynn were framed. We asked her why. Here's her response and they were really targeting President Trump because for a couple of reasons. One, they wanted to bring the Trump administration to his knees before it even got started. Number two, they wanted to protect whatever lies it now turns out they were saying, the, and I'm saying with this regard, the intelligence community writ large. Um, and third, they didn't want to have uh, the new administration see what they had done during the previous administration. And they didn't want the new administration to reorganize the intelligence community, which was our intention from the very beginning. So how do we get to the bottom of this, Congressman, and explore the other side of this? And were there legitimate, legitimate reasons for uh, President Obama to make these requests? Well, I, I think that's exactly what we've been saying now for a while. It's time that the media, and especially the liberal media that has been propping up uh, the Obama legacy for years and, and then trying to discredit any of us who actually attacked the, the sham impeachment, who attacked the Mueller investigation, who attacked the Clinton uh, email uh, investigation. And we were always made to feel like we were the ones who were on the outside just yelling and that nothing was happening. And the truth of the matter is now is now that everybody has to acknowledge that this was something that was actually legitimately going on, that everybody in this country needs to be aware of it. When you have from the highest level of intelligence, from the White House and DOJ actively contemplating uh, destroying a candidate and then destroying the early parts of an administration, that should worry everybody because these same folks with a badge have the same power to do it to you and do it to me, Sandra. This is something we've got to uh, be aware of. So I think it's going to start getting out. I think you're going to roll us out. It starts with the unmasking. It hopefully starts with uh, more hearings in the Senate. It uh, continues for those of us who talk about it, making sure the American people do not forget the calamity that was at the end of the Obama administration that they set up uh, from a very political hit job because they did not like this president at that time candidate. Okay, so you're very, feeling very passionately on that this morning. I know you are speaking out also about China and its involvement yes. and lack of correspondence and communication on the spread of the coronavirus. Senator Lindsey Graham now has issued a new statement. He's calling on legislation for greater sanctions if China doesn't uh, actively cooperate with international investigations into the origins of that virus. He says this, I'm convinced that without Chinese uh, Communist Party deception, the virus would not be here in the U.S. I'm convinced China will never cooperate with a serious investigation unless they are made to do so. This hard-hitting piece of legislation will sanction China until they cooperate with investigators. So what do you want to see happen here and how ultimately is and will be China held accountable? Well, we're going to see this. Uh, Senator Graham and I have partnered on numerous pieces of legislation before, and we're partnering again on this one. We're going to be introducing the House version of this bill. Uh, and it goes after exactly what you just, what uh, Senator Graham just read, but you just talked about. China deceived the world while people were dying. They were taking precautions inside their own borders while yet letting people go internationally. It is time for an independent investigation led by the U.S. and others to make sure that they, number one, going forward, what actually happened, and we hold them accountable. The Chinese officials who did this, they need to be in a position where they can be sanctioned 
sanctioned, where they can be their uh, assets frozen, those are the kind of things that we look at in this bill. We also need to be able to make sure that uh, there is now accountability for this. The president has been talking about China for years. In fact, he actually started this when he first heard he started the Chinese, uh, the travel ban, which actually folks on the left criticized. He understood this, but now mm -hmm. it's time to give him the tools that he can use, that we can now use to actually hold China accountable where it really hurts the most, in their travel, and in their money, and in their manufacturing. And also, it highlights the fact that we also need to bring standards up for pharmaceuticals. Things that are manufactured there need to come up to the same standard as we see here. So this is a bill that I'm proud to partner with. We're going to see it in the House, and everybody should be a part of this. China has played a bad actor in this. It's time they come into the, to the reality that if they're going to be on the national stage and international stage, they've got to play in an honest fashion. Congressman, I've got to leave it there. Ten seconds. Nancy Pelosi says three trillion dollars more is needed for the American people as far as relief. You say to that what? <laughs> Nancy, Speaker Pelosi is stuck at Christmas time. I guess the coronavirus has got pandemic shut in has got her done. She, this is just a Christmas tree bill that means nothing and doesn't help anybody. All right, Congressman, appreciate you coming on this morning. Thanks.